Hi, Merry Christmas. It's Christmas morning and we're about to have pancakes. I thought I'd invite you along. I'm Nan Simmonson with Aging Powerfully with Nan. And my mission is to encourage all of us. I'm a baby boomer and I wanna take my entire generation with me toward aging powerfully rather than falling apart little by little and aging poorly. So we do it with whole grain, plant-based foods, and I'm gonna show you our morning pancakes. These are oat and cornmeal pancakes, and I began with rolled oats that I put in the blender and turned into flour. You're going to get this recipe. So I have a cup and a half of oat flour and I compared this to the flour I bought that is oat flour. And this was grainier and I like that better. The grainier, the more the fiber. Then I add to that some cornmeal, a cup and a half of the oat flour, half a cup of cornmeal, but you're getting the recipe. And then I'm adding baking soda, baking powder, and cinnamon. So that's going to add our lemonade and I'll mix this up a little bit because I'm gonna be adding dry ingredients to that. I'm not using these oats, I just wanted to show you. And when I buy oats, this is what I prefer. Oats are heavily sprayed with glyphosate. It's been shown that it's actually um, in our bodies and we excrete it when we eat a lot of grains. And so I go for the organic grains, including oatmeal. So my oatmeal is organic, and for me it's gluten-free as well. Finding organic and gluten-free gets a little tricky, but when you find it, you stick with your source. And we have a couple of stores in the area that I can uh, buy it um, in the bulk containers. So I have my dry ingredients. To that, I'm adding two cups of plant milk. I could have chosen anything, al uh, almond, oat, um, cashew, but I'm choosing again, if you've watched a previous video, you've heard me say this, and that is I'm using soy milk. Why? Because it has nine uh, grams of protein per cup, and I'm using two cups here. So why not add, in the morning, a little bit of extra protein. If you're whole food plant-based, you're getting your protein from your plants. And so I'm going to add that so that this becomes a protein source as well. Plus there's protein in oats. Every half a cup has five grams of protein on average. And then I'm adding some lemon juice, freshly squeezed three tablespoons of lemon juice. And then I wanted to show you something because the recipe also calls for a tablespoon of lemon zest. And some of you may not be familiar with this process. What's lemon zest? I could do it with a, a peeler and then chop, chop, chop finely the lemon peel. That's the zest. But instead I have a zester. These are inexpensive. You can get them on Amazon. Uh, it can be used to finely grate anything, including ginger. It's the zest of a medium lemon that will give me a tablespoon and you'll see when I'm finished that the end product is very, very finely grated. And when you add lemon juice and then you back it up with zest in any recipe, you have lemon. And the lemon flavor is so pure and so delightful. Now, I'm not going to do this after I juice the lemon. I've made that mistake, kind of gotten carried away, sliced the lemon, juiced it, and then thought, oh, I want the zest. And to get it, firm enough to zest well enough is a bit of a challenge. So it's better to first uh, zest it while it's still whole. Now we have a naked lemon. And you see this, look at that. I'm not even gonna measure. I don't care if it's a little over and if it's a little under, that's okay too. I'm not gonna do another lemon. Thank you, zester. I'm going to put the zest into our batter that's already thickening up. And we are going to make pancakes. You'll see the recipe calls for a quarter a cup to a half a cup of batter. I'm gonna go by pancake size. Oh, this smells so good. I was gonna make you buckwheat pancakes. That's another option. Maybe I'll do that another day. I have a recipe for buckwheat and oat pancakes. That's very nice as well. Oh, what I didn't tell you is that I chopped, finely chopped, 
well actually chopped coarsely and then blended it in. Uh, three medule, those are fat, juicy ones, dates. Three medule dates, so this has a sweetness, but no sugar. You'll notice no dairy, you'll notice no eggs. That's the way we walk around here. Whole food, plant-based, no animal products at all. I have a spatula ready to, ah, that hurt. I grabbed the, um, the hot pan, don't do that. I found this. I, actually, I saw it. I don't know where I saw it. Maybe I ended up getting it online. It's Presto brand. It's a ceramic griddle and nothing sticks to it. Although nothing sticks to it, I'm not going to push it. And what I'm going to do, did you see that? That's less than a quarter of a teaspoon of oil. And I'm going to spread it just to give it a glaze. All right. I've noticed then really nothing sticks to it. Okay. I've seen a few um, clumps in here, but we're fine. All right. I'm gonna pour. Oh, that's about the size we like. There. You're gonna notice that I'm getting bubbles right away. That means the griddle's nice and hot. Usually you test it by putting a drop of water on it, and if it sizzles, 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 you've got a hot griddle. But I burnt myself, so I know it's hot enough. Now these are almost ready to turn. Do you see that? So I was gonna pause the camera, but I may not. I may just turn them and just take you through this whole process. Can you hear my cat? She's serenading us to the music. All right, so I'm gonna check underneath. If you check too early, if you mess too early, you end up breaking up your pancakes. Now I'm gonna let this sit for a minute. So what are you doing today on Christmas morning or whenever you watch this? We've already had a bit of smoothie or a little bit of oatmeal at six in the morning before a long walk. Um, but man, pancakes, with Jackie, our photographer, <laughs> who has come to share Christmas with us. Um, speaking of that, a lot of you are with family, some of you are not. We're sort of sequestering. See, I got it a little darker than I meant to, but it's fine. I don't know about you, but man, I'm doing okay right now, but I can't tell you the number of times I'll flip one pancake <laughs> onto another. That's really annoying. There, oh man, aren't those pretty. So I have heating in my, I love my Breville oven. Um, a plate that I'm gonna pile these on and um, did you see how easily they lift it off of this griddle? Love this thing. I've, I've made lentil crepes that you simply, I'll, I'll have to show you. Uh, using lentils, red lentils, grind them in your blender until they're a flour and then nothing but water and maybe a little bit of salt. Some people don't even put the salt. And that's a high protein crepe that is fabulous. Used to wrap around, leave it alone man, it's not ready. Um, yeah, these are fine. Look at the other side. Ah. What a pancake. Da-da, what side should I put down? I don't know. Some people like that lighter side, but I think I'll use that side. I'm just playing with my food. <laughs> I'm sorry. baking themselves. You see the bubbles? That's what you look for, everybody. You look for the bubbles. That means they've risen. Why have they risen? Because remember, I use baking soda and baking powder. Okay. Sorry for the noise. Boom! Ha -ha. 
Now the pancake or the blueberries, did you see that? Love this griddle. Boom. Now we don't have bacon anywhere near this house, but I'll show you what the griddle is good for. I hope you don't do this, but if you do bacon, it has a grease hole here and the grease drains down. So it's for anyone and any kind of diet. Now you know what's happening to these blueberries. They're steaming. And so they're going to collapse a little, which is fine. There's no way to have blueberry pancakes without getting some cooking going on with those blueberries. When I flip them out, we'll see what they look like, and these will be flipped face side up. So I made for us this morning a fruit tray, and we have blackberries, raspberries, a fresh pineapple. We have a fruit man around here. It's a store called The Fruit Man, and he brings in all this fun stuff, so I go just to visit to see what he has. And yesterday I bought this melon that was orange on the outside and orange on the inside. Kind of cantaloupe, kind of not. Some fresh orange slices. And for a holiday gift, he gave everyone who walked in the door and out with something a fresh pineapple. So I have a fresh Hawaiian pineapple on the tray. Isn't this pretty? What a perfect meal. I'm going to have a tip and the hand is too and you can put it on the table. And I think we're just about ready to take these guys off. I don't know if you can hear this, but you can hear the sizzle of the um, pancakes now. Because, and they're sizzling quite a bit, because the blueberries are steaming. And did you see how big? Look at this. That's a blueberry. It's really a small plum. <laughs> Let's see. Complicates things a little bit because, yeah, I'm gonna have to leave them on a bit. Because until they collapse enough, the batter that is higher than the um, skillet is not getting browned yet. I've done this with frozen wild blueberries from Trader Joe's. They're minuscule, they're this big, and you defrost them and drain them. Those are so flat that the whole thing cooks more evenly. See, Tim, it's your fault. You want big blueberries? We get funky pancakes. I'm gonna turn this around just to show you what I mean. But it's not a problem because eventually it all works out. Look, isn't that pretty? I like that. And I'm touching your food, our food. Yeah, see, that's all set. It's just not brown. But I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Oh, yes. Totally set, just not brown. We've got enough brown, we're fine. Oh, there went my snowman. Don't do snowman, it's not worth the time. <laughs> okay, and there. Ta-da! Well, I hope you're having a wonderful holiday and whenever you see this, be it Christmas time or, or the new year, happy holidays. Bye-bye. <laughs>